Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Robbie H. You know, I have to admit, it's good to see that every so often, more people are subscribing to this channel. I thank those of you who have, and hope you encourage others who are interested in the Bible to do so as well. You provide a real encouragement, and a reason for me to keep producing the show. However, let us see if we can get 25 subscribers by the time I finish reading the book of Exodus on the 6th of October 2013. I really think that would be a stunning accomplishment, and a real sign that the Bible is as relevant today as it has ever been. Don't forget to check out the website at www.dailyvisualbible.co.uk, especially the new links page, which will have links to some very important sites to help to show that the Word of God is needed in these modern times. Now let's do the right thing, and open God's Word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your Word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a best understanding of you. Amen. Exodus, chapter 37 Bezeal made the ark of acacia wood. Its length was two and a half cubits, and its width a cubit and a half, and a cubit and a half its height. He overlaid it with pure gold, inside and outside, made a moulding of gold for it around it. He cast four rings of gold for it, and its four feet, even two rings on its one side, and two rings on its other side. He made poles of acacia wood, and overlaid them with gold. He put the bowls into the rings on the sides of the ark, to bear the ark. He made a mercy seat of pure gold. Its length was two and a half cubits, and a cubit and a half its width. He made two cherubim of gold. He made them of beaten work, at the two ends of the mercy seat, a cherub at each end. He made the cherubim of one piece, with the mercy seat at its two ends. The cherubim spread out their wings on high, covering the mercy seat with their wings, with their faces toward one another. The faces of the cherubim were toward the mercy seat. He made a table of acacia wood. Its length was two cubits. And its width was a cubit, and its height was a cubit and a half. He overlaid it with pure gold, and made a gold moulding around it. He made a border of a hand width around it, and made a gold moulding on its border around it. He cast four rings of gold for it, and put the rings in the four corners to one its four feet. The rings were closed by the border, the places for the poles to carry the table. He made the poles of acacia wood and overlaid them with gold, to carry the table. He made the vessels which were on the table, its dishes, its spoons, its bowls, and its pitchers, for which to pour out of pure gold. He made the lampstand of pure gold. He made the lampstand of beaten work, its base, its shaft, its cups, its buds, and its flowers were one piece with it. There were six branches going out of its sides, three branches of the lampstand out of its one side, and three branches of the lampstand out of its other side. Three cups made like almond blossoms in one branch, a board and a flower, and three cups made like almond blossoms in the other branch, a board and a flower. So forth the six branches going out of the lampstand. In the lampstand were four cups made like almond blossoms, its buds and its flowers, and a board under two branches of one piece with it, and a board under two branches of one piece with it and a bud on the two branches of one piece with it, for the six branches going out of it. The buds and the branches were of one piece with it. The whole thing was one beaten work of pure gold. He made its seven lamps, and its snuffers, and its snuff dishes of pure gold. He made it of a talent of pure gold, with all its vessels. He made the altar of incense, of acacia wood. It was square, its length was a cubit, its width a cubit. Its height was two cubits. Its horns were of one piece with it. He overlaid it with pure gold, its top, its sides around it, and its horns. He made a gold moulding around it. He made two gold rings for it under the moulding crown, and its two ribs, and its two sides, for places for poles with which to carry it. He made the poles of acacia wood, and overlaid them with gold. He made the holy anointing oil, and pure incense of sweet spices after the art of the perfumer.